Last year, the first annual SNAMI boat race was a great success. This year, apprentice school students who are members of SNAMI came together once again to sponsor the second annual SNAMI boat design competition. The goal of the event has always been to inspire high school students to become more interested in math, science, and the challenges and excitement of shipbuilding and ship design. The competition requires high school students to become familiar with the basic shipbuilding principles and skill sets, which include hull characteristics formulas, CAD drawings, and stability measurements. This year's initial interest meeting was held at Jamestown High School in Williamsburg, and this year's competition drew interest from as far away as Culpeper County. 23 teams, consisting of more than 240 students, registered for the competition. The apprentice team, supported by Northrop Grumman Newport News Naval Architects, used lessons learned from last year's event to modify the guidelines and requirements. A new organizational partner, the SNAMI chapter of Webb Institute in Long Island, New York, volunteered to review and judge the 23 contestant design packages submitted by the various high schools. Once all the submittals were accepted and processed, the shipyard hosted an appreciation lunch for the participants and to announce the four winning entrants. Uh, who are working for Dr. Lipper down on the waterfront have actually started to build your ships. Those four winning ships are under construction right now. The selection process was rigorous, but the judges finally came to an agreement. The winning designs came from the Falcons of York High School, integrated aluminum from Jamestown High School in Williamsburg, and the smooth sailing and sink or swim teams from the Advanced Technology Center in Virginia Beach. With the winning designs chosen, construction of the real boats began in the shipyard steel fabrication apprentice gallery. Final designs were lofted and electronically converted to suit the shipyard's new in-house laser cutting machine. Uh, the cut we just made was planned and designed by high school students. Using the actual plans drawn by the winners, the boats were constructed by apprentices who are learning the art of shipbuilding. The build process moved along swiftly and soon all four boats were completed and ready to be tested to pinpoint the center of gravity for each vessel. On April 18th, race day had finally arrived. Crowds of hundreds arrived early to watch the boats speed along Lake Mari at the Lion's Gate Bridge. Before the boats could be launched, there were some final touches that each would require. <laughs> the first phase of the competition was the speed contest. Four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, one head-to-head -head speed run. 200 meters long. It's all up to the operators right now and the characteristics of the hell sh hull shapes that they've built. You may root for your favorite. It looks like integrated aluminum is taking the lead. Look at the wake on that boat. What's he doing? Get out of the way of the York boat. Oh my goodness gracious. Is he got it, folks? Okay, let's hear it for aluminum. Okay, let's hear it for integrated aluminum. There's your first boat across the water. Then the maneuverability contest got underway. The objective was to see which boat design was the fastest and most maneuverable by the process of elimination. To accomplish this, two competing boats would begin at opposite ends of a course marked by a line of buoys, as you see here. At the start signal, they would begin chasing each other around the buoys. The objective was for one boat to catch up with the other and get it in a line of sight so it could theoretically fire on the boat in front of it and sink it. As you can see, both speed and maneuverability were critical to being a winner.
Oh no, what's the look at the aluminum boat? Oh my goodness, where is he going? He's trying to avoid being close, but he's getting uh oh look at the catamaran's gonna cut him off. Uh oh, I see trouble. Oh my goodness, don't crash. It looks like the catamaran is ready. Red flag, red flag. Woo! All right, look at that. Four minutes. Look at that little catamaran, those little turns that he's making. I get the feeling that that boat is not going full speed. I think he's actually slowed his speed down in order to have greater maneuverability around the inside of the course. So far, two minutes have gone through the course. Oh no, he's aiming for the boys again. Oh no, don't knock out another more boys. He's trying to move it away. Here comes the single hull. York right behind him. I see flags up, ladies and gentlemen. I see flags up, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the catamaran turned over too many boys, destroyed our course, and now we're going to bring the lifeguards out. You can see the three men in the powered boat to try to disentangle what this beautiful little catamaran has done to us. Let's give them all a big round of applause, everybody. The winners of each heat are aligned to compete head-to-head -head for the crown. All right, now we got two single hulls. This is the first time we've had two single hulls against each other. This is going to come down to operator error. These boats are fast. Look at the wake of those boats. They're skimming over the water. Oh, no! Catastrophe! Oh, the horror of it all! Here comes York right behind him. He's trapped. What's going to happen here? Do I see any flags? No flags. No flags. Oh. Two flags, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the On the Water competition, York Falcons boat. After the boats completed their rigorous list of events, it was left up to the judges to do the final computations and come up with the winners. This year's winner for excellence in calculations goes to Team Fantasy from Jamestown High School. Best design notebook is Team Argonaut, again from Jamestown High School. Most creative approach goes to Team Chicken of the Sea from Advanced Technology Center. This year's winner for superior construction drawings goes to Up the Creek Without a Paddle. The Apprentice School Boat Design Competition winners for this year, York High School Falcons with an incredible 91 out of 100 points this year. Are you ready, everybody? Let's give them a big round of applause. This year's winners. Fantastic.